All right, chat. So there's something I wanted to talk about with you guys in my last stream, but I didn't really get an opportunity to talk about it with you guys. So we're going to talk about it now. And I'm actually glad I waited because originally, like, I had, like, a bunch of, like, you know, technical mumbo jumbo that I was going to go over and stuff like that that probably would have just went over your heads and bored the shit out of you. Uh, but it's a good thing I waited because ultimately the person involved in the situation ended up doing a video of their own on it. And we're going to react to that video and I'll just kind of give my thoughts as we go along. But I wanted to show you guys a tweet that kind of perfectly embodies my thoughts on the argument or the discussion, rather, that we're about to have right now. Uh, basically a couple days ago, I tweeted out the following. So it seems the big left versus right argument for the next few months is going to be about titty milk. Yes, you read that right. Titty milk. Lol. <laughs> We're going to be talking about titty milk today. chat. Why are we talking about titty milk? Okay. We're talking about titty milk because of this. You guys may remember a content creator that we reacted to a debate they did I want to say the debate we reacted to was about maybe a month ago or so, something along those lines. She did a debate with another creator known as Kelly Cadigan. I said it right this time because I kept saying cardigan. It's Cadigan, okay? Kelly Cadigan, a.k.a. Discount Blair White, okay? That's what some people call them. But she did a debate, and it was a debate about trans issues. But somehow, the debate led to... Kelly in a roundabout way kind of defending slavery. If you guys don't remember that debate, I did a reaction on this channel. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. But Nominal Naomi kind of went viral over the past couple days because she posted a TikTok that literally made a bunch of far-right individuals super, super mad on the internet. We're talking like people went crazy aggro about it, right? As a matter of fact, you can see this uh, Twitter page called Clown World actually tweeted out her TikTok video. Uh, what the hell? I'll just play the TikTok video so you guys can see exactly what we're talking about here. So here we go. Cow achievement. Trans women can indeed lactate. You would follow the Newman Goldfarb protocol, a medical protocol designed to help women, women induce lactation if they were not like getting pregnant themselves. I'm going to be a mother. Um, that's in the works, in the process. And part of that process is that I am working to induce lactation to be able to breastfeed our youngest child. Yeah, actual, actually mommy Naomi. I've actually already successfully induced lactation. Like I can actually make milk now, um, which has been a, a very, a very interesting and very cool experience. It's like very biologically affirming too, <laughs> which is something that's like gate kept from trans women, like so, so difficult, both motherly and Okay, so there's the TikTok in question, okay? So basically, I saw this TikTok actually on TikTok when she originally put it out. And my response to that was, hey, congratulations, because number one, you know, motherhood is something that's very exciting, right? Motherhood is something that's very exciting. But the other thing is she's talking about like how, you know, she's lactating. She's basically induced lactation and she's going to use the milk through that lactation to feed the child, right? And so... Maybe it was just because I've passed biology that I know that, hey, whether you guys realize it or not, both, uh, you know, assigned at, you know, male at birth and assigned female at birth bodies, both of them have the ability to lactate. Like all of the necessary hardware is in there to lactate. It's just what makes it actually possible is, you know, a difference in like the hormones and shit like that. That's what actually makes it possible, right? So men can technically not lactate. It's just they don't have that hormone balance to actually make that process take place, right? So um, when I saw this, I didn't think anything of it. I'm just kind of like, oh, that's kind of cool. Neato. And she's going to be a mom. Congratulations. But uh, a bunch of people on the internet took issue with it. So we're actually going to talk about that. As I mentioned earlier, Naomi put out a video of her own talking about this situation and how everything kind of exploded. So we're going to play some Resident Evil 2. And while we're doing that, we're going to react to her video, kind of give our thoughts as we go along. So without further ado, pa -pa 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 -pa. play that shit. Here we go. I just want to be able to share my moment of trans joy on the internet. And if, if the trans folks are going to be triggered about that, if they're going to deny the reality of lactation, if they're going to deny the reality human beings are mammals, if they can't understand that basic biology, I'm just going to lean even harder into trans joy. So I am official. Well, like I said before, like maybe it's just because I did well in biology class. I remember being like super fascinated in biology class in high school. But like, yeah, that's one of the things they teach you is like 
both uh, born male at birth uh, or born female at birth bodies are capable of lactating. Like we have, as men, we have the necessary hardware in here to be able to lactate. The thing is, we don't have the hormone process that takes place in our body because that process takes place during childbearing and like giving birth, right? Um, that process takes place at that time and there's like a hormone sort of reaction for lack of a better word. I'm not a doctor, so I'm describing it as best as I can, but there's a, like a, a, a reaction to like hormones that happens in your body that results in the lactation, right? Now you can induce that lactation and actually a lot of adoptive parents do it and also parents that have like a surrogate mother do it, right? So that they can lactate and they can breastfeed their child. So it's not like this is like some new process that hasn't been done before. It's not like something that hasn't been studied for safetyness or whatever. Like it's something that's been done as far back as the early 2000s. Because she's mentioning the, I think it's called the Newman Goldfarb Protocol. She'll mention more of it in this video. But this is something that has been done since the early 2000s. It has been safely done since the early 2000s. So when I see people freaking out about how like, oh man... They're taking drugs and stuff like that. And they're like, that can't be healthy for the baby. People have literally been doing this since the early 2000s. And it's 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 fine. Officially under attack. Wow, E. Y'all are thirsty to talk about the lactation discourse. Oh my gosh, the transphobes are so triggered. This has been some very interesting discourse. From it's so true because there were so many people on Twitter who were turning this into like, oh, this is a fetish. This, uh... You know, obviously they got to misgender her because they're transphobes, right? So he just wants to have a child sucking on his teeth and like really ridiculous shit like that. They, they had to like, they had to use this as an excuse, as another excuse just to be transphobic. Like literally that's what was happening. If you saw the original thread, that's all it was about. Making it like a sexual thing or whatever the fuck, which is insanely, insanely stupid to me. Transphobes on Twitter mostly about the fact that I am working to induce lactation to be able to breastfeed my child. My partner is extremely excited and supportive throughout this entire process. She is somebody that has struggled with lactation and breastfeeding. Seeing my joy in this process and seeing the success that I'm having in this process has been really, really freaking happy for her and really happy for me too. Like this is absolutely a big moment of queer joy that we are celebrating together. And that was another thing. Like initially when I saw that TikTok, I thought maybe they were going to be adopting. And so they were trying to like lactate in order to like feed their like adoptive baby. But no, her partner is my understanding is a cis woman who actually gave birth to this child. Right. And so they wanted to be able to basically lactate so they can provide additional breast milk for the baby in addition to what like their partner was already producing. It all started when I posted a little TikTok clip where I, I was announcing that I'm going to be a mother and that is part of the process I'm working to induce lactation. Eventually this clip ended up circulating around transphobic Twitter and I wake up this morning and there is an article about your queen, Mommy Naomi, in the post-millennial. I did not know. I did not know there was an article about this. I saw all the posts on Twitter and I saw like, you know, the clown world tweet or whatever. I had no idea that someone actually wrote an article about this shit. Like, holy fuck. And her mother announces she took hormones to create milk-like substance from her nipples that she plans to feed. That was another thing. They kept calling it a milk-like substance or a quote, fluid. Dude. It's literally milk, all right? It's, it's fucking milk. Like, I know you can't wrap your fucking caveman brain around the fact that, yes, men can lactate if the proper hormonal, like, sort of process takes place within their body. But, yes, it, it can happen. It's something that, like, people have been inducing, like I said before, lactation since the early 2000s. This is not some crazy new thing, all right? Like, this is, this is crazy that people are getting so upset about it to her baby. I can tell you that it's milk. Oh, it's so funny, like the lengths that they're going to to say that this is not milk. It, it's literally milk. It, it's milk, guys. I, I promise. <laughs> that is the milk that I pumped just before stream started. What's really funny about this article is that all it is is summarizing three TikToks of mine. Cow Achievement announced a woman with curly purple hair gleefully on TikTok. She could barely contain her enthusiasm over the results of a new treatment that induced her female breasts to produce a substance that's the thing. Like I said, they said it's a new treatment. It's it's not 
a new treatment. This is literally something, if you look it up, the, the Newman Gold Farm Protocol, this is literally something from the early 2000s. It's been going on since the early 2000s. One of the doctors that created this process experimented on themselves to make this process, right? And because it was successful with not one child, but two children that they had, they were, they basically had a surrogate mother for, um, they decided to start administering that treatment to other people, right? And it worked and it worked really well. So they've been doing it ever since. This is, it's not new. It's something that has literally been happening since the early 2000s. Vaguely resembling breast milk. It is breast milk. Umbrella. It's breast milk. Trans women can indeed lactate, everything. the woman claims, smoothing her multicolored magenta bangs. Oh, you would follow the Newman Goldfarb protocol. No this is a method designed to help women lactate. Jack Jokers in the chest says, honestly, some of the medications I induce can, uh, in, can th so, sorry, some of the medications that I take can induce lactation. Yeah, that's actually a side effect of some major medications. Some medications will cause men to lactate. And it's, it's a very real thing. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a very real thing. And was developed in 2020. That's factually incorrect. The Newman Goldfarb protocol, it was a medical protocol designed to help women lactate. It was designed for adoptive mothers. Mothers who were not going to have their kids biologically, but wanted to lactate their children nonetheless. It was discovered, it was like invented. That's like I said earlier, like this has already been done for like, you know, whether it's a problem of maybe you know, a mother isn't able to naturally produce lactation. So they'll induce lactation that way, or maybe it's an ado adoptive mother. And so they'll induce lactation for the adoptive mother. Or again, as I mentioned before, in a case of like a mother where maybe you needed a surrogate mother to actually give birth to your child, obviously you're not going to go through that natural process because of that. So because of that, you might induce lactation. So you can still breastfeed your kid because you had a surrogate mother, if that makes sense. But anyway, it in 2000, 2000. I don't know where they got 2020 from in this article, but it was not developed in 2020. It was developed in 2000. I, I thought that maybe they would have like gone with, there was a case report of a trans woman who induced lactation, which I cited, but the case report was in 2018. So I guess I'm really curious how this protocol was developed two years after it was adapted for trans women in 2018. Like, so this article she's reading, it said that it, the, the, the article that she read claims that the first time it was done to a trans person was 2020. Like it was a new process that was from 2020. It's literally a process from 20, uh, the early two thousands. And the first time it was done on a trans person was in 2018. So again, it's not it's not a new... Pr Even if you want to take it from the perspective of this is a new thing for trans people, I mean, fairly new. 2018 is fairly new, I suppose, but it's been done before. And it's been done so safely. If the journalistic integrity of this is so bad, I'm going to be a mother, she announces. That's in the works, in the process, and part of that process that I'm working to induce lactation. So I'm Gizmo in the chat says, technically, it is a drug that makes her lactate, but people don't say drug in moments like this as it associates with negative notions like being addicted or being heavily harmful, uh, such as cocaine. Yeah, I kind of understand what you mean. And then also, like, you know, when you are... Uh, producing milk uh, like you're going to breastfeed or whatever they obviously tell you like don't take certain like medications and stuff and uh, don't like uh, I think there's like certain things you're not supposed to eat or whatever because those things will get in your milk and it could be bad for the child right so like yeah I can see what you mean where like people hey, would associate that with like a negative connotation sim. thank you for the Shiggity sub appreciate it join the Kuma Nation. thank you very much I appreciate that but uh, yeah, this is something that has been done for many, many years now, and it's been done for many, many years safely. So for people acting like this is some new, crazy, like voodoo science or whatever that's making this happen, like, no, this is something that has been thoroughly studied. Uh, it's been thoroughly peer reviewed and it's perfectly safe. Able to breastfeed our youngest child. Yeah, actual mommy Naomi, says the TikToker who goes by nominal.naomi and tag the post hashtag trans joy. I've actually already successfully induced lactation. Like I can actually make milk now. Cry and seethe, transphobes. Here is the milk. <laughs> Bro, she says that we were coping and seething. You are coping, coping and seething. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yes, you're coping, coping and seething. The truth is coping and now you are molding and coping. Coping so hard. 
but they really are coping. Like, dude, when I looked into this, because I saw this, right? And like I said, when I initially saw the TikTok, I didn't think a whole lot of it. But like when I saw people start like freaking the fuck out about it on Twitter, I actually did the research. I looked into the Newman Goldfarb protocol and like how this process actually works. And there's a lot of studies behind it that show that it's a safe thing. Whether you're a cis woman who's doing it or whether you're a trans woman who's doing it, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly safe. What the fuck? <laughs> Whatever nominal dot Naomi is secreting from her female breasts, however, is not mother's milk. <gasps> Can they tell me what it is? There is no evidence to suggest that females who ingest estradiol, progesterone, spironolactone, and domperidone, which is not on the market in the U.S., produce the nutrient-rich nourishment provided by actual women who actually mother and nurse their young. By the way, I'm not taking spironolactone, so that's also TikTok. factually incorrect about me. But to suggest that there's no evidence that we have examined the nutrients of trans women's milk, there was a peer-reviewed journal article that came out uh, recently. This is why, okay, after that debate that she did with Kelly Cadigan, I have, like, literally watched nominal naomi and a lot of her stuff since then like i enjoy what she does because like this this girl when she says something you know she's researched it and she knows what the fuck she's talking about because she will come back with study after peer-reviewed study after peer-reviewed study backing up everything she's saying like no cap recently look at this lactation induction in a transgender woman macronutrient analysis and patient perspective uh here was actually the table of the nutrients in the trans woman's milk compared to control milk. And what's really funny is that every nutrient, the trans woman's milk was better than the control milk provided by a cis woman. More proteins, more fats, more lactose. Wow, that part's interesting. I didn't know that part. That, that's interesting. I wonder why, why would a trans woman's milk have more protein and nutrients in it than a cis woman's milk. I kind of want to look into that now to try and figure... Because I, I geek out over this kind of stuff. Like, digging into, like, research on topics like this and, like, the science behind it and shit. I kind of wonder why. What what process is happening in a assigned male at birth body that would cause them to create more nutrients and protein than... Interesting. Okay more calories and what the study says is the participants milk showed values of protein fat lactose and calorie content at or above those of standard term milk the trans woman's milk was better than cis women's milk and this is actually consistent with the literature we have on induced lactation even in cis women um there is some here's here's some peer-reviewed literature essentially what has been shown consistently is that like women who induce lactation, their milk- Cablu says, I imagine that happens because, uh, hold on a second, let me, let me deal with these zombies here real quick. Uh, I imagine that happens because of what uh, the baby takes from the mother's body. They deplete nutrients during pregnancy. You know what? That's actually a good point. That's actually a genuinely good point. I didn't think about that, but maybe you might be onto something there. Interesting actually tends to be more nutrient so i wonder if that would be the case i wonder if like a maybe a mother who didn't give the birth right and like they had also induced lactation like like a cis uh woman if they would have the same results as the trans woman then that might be something worth testing if it's never been tested before just out of genuine curiosity you know what i mean interesting dense than women who lactate naturally as a result from pregnancy and so it would make sense that a trans woman would also have that more nutrient dense milk i mean we have studies which show that trans women's breasts like the actual breast tissue in trans women's breasts is biologically histologically identical to that of cis women this study essentially studied the breasts of trans women under a microscope and they compared it to um cis men who had been castrated and they also compared it to cis women who had naturally developed their breasts. In trans women who had estrogen and progesterone, full achinar and lobular function formation with hormonally stimulated nuclei and pseudolactational changes. That is everything to mimic the natural histology of the female breast. Transphobes always talk about basic biology. Why do they think that human beings are called 
mammals. It's because we have mammary glands. Like, regardless if you're exactly. born male or female, in most cases, you're born with mammary glands. You're, you're yep. born with everything that you would need to be able to make milk. Yep. It's actually even possible for cis men to make milk sometimes. And we even have studies on the nutrients of the milk within cis men that cis men have produced. Uh, here was a study back from 1981 on a cis man who produced milk and the concentrations of lactose, proteins, and electrolytes in the breast secretion of this man are within the range of colostrum and milk obtained from normal lactating women. Leon. Even wow. cis men's breast milk has the same nutrients good to see as cis women's living. breast milk. milk. Oh, so that, that kind of answers the question we had earlier. Remember we were asking the question about like, what are like, what are, what are the nutrients from like, a cis man if they eat lactate and they're saying it's the same thing interesting because milk transphobes <laughs> um which is just very interesting and very There's cool experience no for us to it's like very biologically like affirming too she giggles like which is something that's like gate kept from trans women like so so difficult yeah it is definitely very what? true that any kind of like biological experience related to womanhood is gate kept so hard from trans women. Uh, Blitz Devil in the chat says, so you lactate due to drug uses, not through a natural process. Essentially what you're doing is uh, you are simulating the hormone uh, sort of process that would happen in your body during like childbearing and childbirth uh, that creates the lactation, right? And so what they're doing is they're basically taking the same hormones that would cause that process to happen. They're taking them in higher levels and then, like, I guess, like, naturally during the birthing process, those levels would lower significantly. And that's what causes your body to lactate or, like, your breasts to lactate as, you know, a woman who has was having a kid. Um, so they're simulating that process through hormones. Um, that's kind of, like, how it works. And, again, this is something that has been done for many years up to this point, a lot of like these like people who are looking for a reason to find an issue with it, they make it sound like it's a new thing that hasn't been thoroughly tested or whatever. No, as I've mentioned, I, I feel like a broken record here. It's it's a process that's been done since the early 2000s, and it's been done as far back as 2018 for trans people. So it's it's not new. It's something that's already been thoroughly tested and proven to be safe. Here, here's one right here. There, there's my breast milk. Nominal Naomi appears to believe that women are keeping motherhood from trans women by possessing natural breasts that naturally produce milk upon the conception, gestation, and birth of our young. No, that's not what I believe. What I believe is that people who are being transphobic, who are harassing me, and writing inflammatory articles where they claim that there's no evidence that my milk has nutrients, despite evidence literally existing, which I cite, inflammatory articles which don't even know the year that the Newman Goldfarb protocol was developed, that people are going to, to do this, that people are going to harass me, that I have been called a child abuser, I have been called a groomer for wanting to breastfeed my child. Yeah, so many people were trying to make it out to be like a sexual fetish. Like she wanted to like, oh, this, this, uh, you know, man, they were referring to her as a man. We acknowledge her as a woman because we're not transphobic pieces of shit. But they were like, this man just wants to sexually like abuse kids by having a kid latch onto her, her tit, her, well, his tit, they would say have them latch onto their tits so they could have like a kid like they they made it sexual and the, the funny thing about it is when a cis woman breastfeeds nobody would ever make the argument that it's sexual but because this is a trans woman and they're trying to find a reason to hate on a trans woman suddenly it's sexual it's a fetish for them it's just it's crazy to me oh that's what i'm talking about when i say that this kind of stuff is gate kept from trans women I mean, you can even talk about... Like, whoever wrote this article literally didn't do any research at all. I kid you not. I kid you not. When I started looking into this shit, it took me maybe 10 minutes to find, like, peer-reviewed studies on this shit. The same peer-reviewed studies she's showing in this fucking, like, video right here. I was able to pull them up as myself very quickly. So the person who ha wrote this article has no excuse... To not know what the fuck they're talking about. Literally no excuse. About like Mr. Beast's friend Chris and how she was going to continue to raise her kid. Like people tried to gatekeep even parenthood. 
from her just on the basis of her being trans. Larry's in the chat says tips today refer to it as a sexual fetish to incite anger in the masses. They resort to it because they have no other arguments. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Basically, like, they want to make all trans people out to be groomers and pedophiles. Like, that's their goal. And so if they can turn this into a sexual fetish, they can convince people, see what I'm talking about? We called them all groomers and pedophiles, right? And now, look at we have proof. This groomer is breastfeeding a child. Like, look. And it's, it's, it's really insane. It's absolutely fucking insane that people go to that level. But, uh... The, there we are like they have to make, I, I talked about this on Twitter uh, fairly recently all these people have to make everything sexual like I haven't heard a trans person talk about their genitals as much as people who hate trans people do all they want to talk about is how sexual everything is and how everything is uh, about what's between someone's fucking legs and it's like why are you want us to believe that the trans people are the creepy weirdos, but you're the ones constantly obsessing about what's between their fucking legs. Make it make sense. This stuff is gate kept from trans people so hard, not for biological reasons, be because of transphobia. And now, now, now the article gets really funny, but not only Naomi has other interests as well, including weird sex stuff and keeping telling women. See what I mean? It's always gotta be fucking sexual. It's always gotta be fucking sexual. Why? Why does it always have to be sexual for them? And about their cis privilege. That's a banger line right there. I do I do have other interests, like weird sex stuff and telling women about their cis privilege. I am a freedom-loving American. Nominal Naomi quips in another TikTok, a response to Daily Wire's Michael Knowles. And if I want to do weird sex stuff, who are you to take my freedom to life, liberty, and the pursuit of high-speed rail away from me? Oh who wants God. to live in a country where you're not allowed to do weird sex stuff? What kind of American would be like, anal sex makes me uncomfortable, therefore... What have her comments that she's made in the past about her sex life, what does that have to do with her being a mother and breastfeeding her child? Like, it's almost like shaming at this point, right? Let's name and shame this person because not only do we want to imply that they're grooming their child by breastfeeding them, but also let's make fun of the fact that they've spoken about their sex life, sex life publicly before. Like, it's really gross. Like, they're not even hiding what their intentions are. I don't think any American should be allowed to have anal sex. I mean, come on. What is wrong with you? She continues. It is somebody's American freedom to get railed in the ass if they want to. So for a little bit of context <laughs> on these statements, Michael Knowles was trying to argue that banning books is a very American thing because we used to have laws which banned books. And he made the analogy of we also used to have laws which say like banned sodomy or banned people, banned consenting adults from practicing sex in the way that they wished. I'm arguing against that saying that yes, it, it is your American freedom to get railed in the ass if you want to. And I-, I It sounds so funny, but I mean, it's true, right? Like if you're, if you're a consenting, if both parties involved are consenting adults, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do in your bath, your bedroom, right? Well, fuck it, your bathroom too. But like, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want. So like to see people like try to dictate that shit is just insane to me. Uh, quite frankly, I think that it's un-American to suggest that somebody's desire to get railed in the ass, like, like stopping somebody from, from exercising their freedom is where your freedom begins. No, that that is anti-American. Michael Knowles is anti-American. And now they switch gears again. Many expectant mothers all across America likely miss the section in what to expect when you're expecting about the priority of making sure they can get railed in the ass as part of their constitutionally protected rights as a woman. Dude, what is... To the person who wrote this article, how are you conflating the two things together? How are you conflating... Her, in one TikTok, a completely different TikTok, how are you conflating what she does in her sex life with what she does as a mother? Th those are two completely different things. This is literally just an attempt to make her out to be creepy. And it's so blatantly obvious that that's the goal. A mother and American. So in order to just clear up any confusion, me talking about like wanting to breastfeed... 
is completely different than me talking about sex stuff. If you're a woman yeah. who is lactating and breastfeeding your child, you can you can do that. You can lactate and feed your child. And then later, like when the child is put to bed, you can have hot consensual sex with your smoking hot wife. Like you can do. Yeah. And this is something that straight cis people do all the time. Right. They wait for their kids to go to sleep. And then they like hook up like later, like that's not an abnormal thing that happens. Like lots of parents do that and that's not a bad thing either. So why, again, I have to ask, why is it okay when straight cis couples do it, but when a trans couple does it, suddenly it's weird or creepy or like inappropriate. It's just, it's just insane. Ray Ray in the chat says, tips are welcome to mom shaming. This sexualizing of breastfeeding happens to all moms. It is true. I have seen it happen with other moms as well, but it just seems like the reaction in this particular case just seems like to the nth fucking degree. Both. They're, they're not mutually exclusive. I'm going to be a, a, a rather enlightened woman. I'm going to live my life and do all the things I want to do because that's my American freedom. But real women are of little concern or consequence to nominal.naomi who takes issue with them for what she calls their cis privilege. In another clip, she can be heard arguing with a woman over just who has it worse in the U.S., women or trans women, as a means of fulfilling their sexual fetishes. I don't know where, like, sexual fetishes came from in that clip, because that clip definitely didn't have anything to do with sexual fetishes. Uh, but this was a clip where I was talking about the existence of cis privilege with, like, a turf, and she denied that cis privilege even existed. It's so funny, this article which is like trying to demean me for wanting to be a mother, is trying to also take issue with the idea of cis privilege. This, this, this article literally shows how much cis privilege there is in cis mothers. If a cis mother wants to induce lactation to be able to breastfeed her child, nobody bats an eye. True. But when a trans woman does it, I get an article about me in the post-millennial that's like full of factually incorrect information that slanders me, that brings up the fact that I like anal sex. Like, if a cis woman <laughs> talked about lactating, God, you would not dude. see an article about them in the post-millennial talking about their love of anal sex. That's cis privilege right there. That literally is cis privilege. You don't think there's any privilege in being cisgender? She asked the caller, who sounds absolutely exasperated. What would the privilege of being cisgender be? The woman asked incredulously. She deflects. You made the claim that I don't know what it feels like for you to be afraid of men, she says. You did make that claim. No, you can't, the woman says with authority. You can't. You can't fully understand. You haven't lived. You don't have the female experience. You don't. You will never know what it's like to fully be a woman. You will never know, because you're not. Nominal Naomi counters that trans women are at greater risk of predatory men who see me as a woman, Seems and if they find out I'm trans, she says, they're probably going to treat me worse than a cis woman because I'm a trans woman, and that's the reality of the situation. There's also the trans panic. That, that is true. Uh, a lot of trans women do face a lot of, like, violent attacks sometimes when, like, somebody is, like, say somebody's, like, at a bar or something, and they, like, hit on, like, a trans woman, and then they find out that they're a trans woman, then they get, like, it, it, they've been, like, people have been known to get insanely violent towards that, which is insane to me but uh yeah that's what they're referring to another conversation she had about that defense where if a trans woman is killed in such a situation you can get off legally for killing the trans woman by claiming that she tricked you you can't get off for killing a cisgender woman for claiming she tricked you but you can for a transgender woman that's the trans panic defense and that's another example of cisgender privilege. She also takes aim at the idea that she had male privilege, which is what, in progressive terminology, puts someone at the bottom of the oppression hierarchy and therefore unable to claim any benefit of victimization. I literally, in the clip, say that I used to have male privilege. That's not what progressives believe about male privilege. What progressives believe is that moving through society, being perceived and treated as a man, you're going to have some intrinsic privileges so this is like a full-on hit piece at this point, right? They're not even just trying to 
shit on her because they disagree with her breastfeeding her child at this point. Like it's a full on hit piece. Let's say that she's grooming kids and sexualizing kids just because she wants to breastfeed. Let's shame the fact that she's very open with like her sex life. Like she's ap openly shared what she's into in her sex life and stuff like that. And she doesn't believe that people should be able to dictate what she does in her own personal sex life. And let's shame the fact that she's like having these conversations about what she believes in. Like the whole thing is just a hit piece against her. All because she is breastfeeding. She's induced lactation successfully and everybody's mad about it. Or just benefits and ways that people treat you. Like for example, taking what you say more seriously. Uh, I'm, I'm a woman in STEM. And I can tell you that before transition versus after transition, people would just like listen to me more when I was presenting as a man, when people perceived me as a man. Nowadays, like people don't take what I say as seriously in like engineering talks. Um, we even actually have sociological research on trans men and their experiences before and after transitioning and how people like actually start to take them seriously, listen to what they say, perceive as experts in the field, promote them more after transitioning. Like this is observed in the sociological research even. You also brought up the idea of like male privilege. Now I'm gonna make it tells the woman, your concerns about privilege are just completely disingenuous. All this time, you are trying to call me out for possessing male privilege in the past, which is something that I recognize. She takes aim at the idea that she had male privilege, which is something that I recognize. The article contradicts itself a sentence later, which is something that I no longer possess, while you yourself still having a cisgender privilege, which you carry with you every day. That's ridiculous, the woman says. To nominal Naomi, it is a privilege to realize that there are biological limitations to one's body, when in fact, determining that she is not limited by reality, but can achieve fantastical heights, is the greater and more delusional privilege. So I don't even know what this statement is trying to say, but I do realize that there are biological limitations to my body. Like, for example, I can't get pregnant, but I can lactate. <laughs> it's, it's right here. It's right here. <laughs> of course, it is the ultimate in male privilege to assume that you can be female can take the place of a natural mother by ingesting drugs to induce lactate. Okay, also the idea that I'm taking the place of a natural mother, I'm I'm literally co-parenting with, with the child's biological mom. Yeah, that's the crazy thing is they're also making assumptions about like how she like is living her life and like how she's like, how she has this child and whatnot. She's, she's like in a, in a partnership with the natural mother, right? She's literally in a partnership with the natural mother. So like people don't even know what they're talking about in regards to her relationship. And she's not even lactating anymore. Like the, the baby in question, she's nine months old. She's starting to branch out into some solid foods. We're just trying to supplement her current regiment of formula and sometimes some solid foods with my breast milk. Like I'm not trying to take anybody's place. I'm just trying to supplement the nutrients for my baby. And like, this is a lot of work. Like, it's a lot of work to pump every day, multiple times a day, to take medicine that is changing my body to be able to lactate. I'm doing this for my kid to be able to supplement their nutrition. Because like, right now they, they weren't getting breast milk until I started lactating for them. Can feed a the baby a fake drug-induced milk? Milk? From the body? It, it's how is it fake like it it looks pretty real to me <laughs> all because you wish it and to further claim that it is society and not biology that is keeping you from living out this fetish for all the world to see it's it's not a fetish see it's like i said before it, it, they 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 try to fetishize it right if a mother that gives birth to a child breastfeeds their child like nobody bats an eye at it nobody thinks it's weird or anything like that at all but because she's a trans woman and this is a process that has been done for many years now and it's been done safely all of a sudden it's a problem like it's literally like ridiculous it's my child's food or at least a supplement to my child's food yeah and it is society that is trying to demean me for being a motherhood not biology my biology is cooperating quite nicely in this instance it's not a fetish ma'am it's milk ma'am it's my child's food I saw somebody ask about like how long it takes to induce lactation. Yeah, I can talk a little about that process. So I started taking a galactolog, which is a medicine that raises prolactin levels in order to be able to lactate. And um, I was producing like drops of colostrum within like one day after starting my galactolog. Um, and I was pumping like three times a day at the beginning. I'm still pumping three times a day. Four days, I was now producing like kind of a milk, like a, a 
combination of like milk and colostrum where it was like sometimes like a slightly milky white colostrum um other times like a couple drops of milk mi mixed with colostrum by like about the one week mark uh it was like solidly milk all the time of what was coming out these days i can make about an ounce of breast milk a day pumping three times usually you can end up making like quite a bit more if you keep on doing this process for months so the protocol which I'm following is going to involve slowly ramping up my hormones and my galactologs over the period of about two months, and then afterwards dropping down my hormones significantly. In the one case report of a trans woman who does lactation, she is able to produce up to eight ounces of milk a day, which is, that's like moderate. Like my, my goal has never been to be the sole source of nourishment for my child, because like she's already on formula and is already branching out into some right. solid foods she's nine months old but yeah i'm gonna see how much i can produce if she if she's able to latch on to me that's great if she's not and it can only be bottle fed that's also a okay i just want to do what's going to make her happiest and healthiest and i know about all of the profound benefits and nutrients that are in milk that have been shown in the peer-reviewed literature in trans women's milk and I just want that for my kid. Happy happy to explain the process, for sure, for sure. Andy Nyo, who is the editor of The Post Millennial, oh my God. said that a, a hashtag trans activist, who is a biological transsexual female, celebrated on a TikTok video that she is able to secrete a fluid from her chest. She said- There's so many of them, they, they refer to it as a fluid. They they, they can't accept that it's it's milk. It's, it's, it's fucking milk, right? They they did they have it's some fluid some odd fluid. She will feed that to her child. All all of them have to act like it's not milk when it is it is literally milk. Like <laughs> that's what milk looks like, my dude. So I clap back saying, "Just finished my morning pumping, and I can confirm for you that it is indeed breast milk." I can cite peer-reviewed journal articles about lactation and trans women, but they might be too hard for you to read because your post millennial is written at an elementary school level. And I had this very cute selfie of me with my morning pumping. You should watch the debate with Naomi and Andrew. Thought it was interesting. I don't have a Discord to send it to you uh, if you accept Twitter DMs. I'll look it up. Thank you for the suggestion. I, I do enjoy watching some of her debates. I haven't seen that one yet, so maybe we'll take a look at that one next. <laughs> and then down here, I cited multiple case reports of trans women lactating, as well as another study on kind of like the medical practice itself. And the transphobes have been getting so, so mad at all of these things that are going on. Uh, we had Clown World that posted my clip saying just WTF and in the comments is people just being insanely inflammatory, harassing, misgendering me. Uh, there was even some turfs that were like circulating this around that were trying to dox me to be able to like call child protective services. I thought that was, was so- Dude. Just because you don't agree with something that somebody is doing, like this is, this is the level that some people will go to. They don't agree with something you're doing in your own personal life. And so their like answer to that is let's like dox this person and let's spam call CPS to get their child removed from them. Like what is the matter with you when you feel the need to engage in that kind of behavior just because you disagree with something that someone's doing in their personal life? It's fucking retarded. What's strange about this phenomenon is I kept seeing turfs that were talking about my lactation and it shows TikTok? just like how self-hating they are it's like so sad that they see their womanhood as as an experience of like disgust and and self-hatred that is so intense when like lactation motherhood womanhood can be things to be celebrated these can be moments of joy uh this turf said just found out she's doing private adoption uh, by the way i'm not doing private adoption i'm going to be adopting my partner's kids from a previous marriage so that's not private adoption mm. now tell me if a real woman tried to adopt a baby and take a plethora of drugs to induce lactation by the way it's only it's only one drug a galactolog so she can breastfeed the child that's not biologically hers would that be allowed or is it just this is something that adoptive mothers do pretty frequently so for this person to ask that question of would that be allowed yes Yes, it is. Just perverted trans women who can do that. The protocol I'm following, the Newman Goldfarb protocol, it was designed for cis women who wanted to induce lactation to be able to breastfeed their adoptive kid. Like that that's literally what it was designed for. The answer is yes. It's actually very common for 
women to induce lactation to breastfeed their adopted kids. Shit. <laughs> and that's exactly what the protocol I'm following was designed for. Uh, I am following a slightly modified version of the protocol. It's slightly modified oh, shit. for like trans women. Typically the way that it differs between trans women and cis women is that in cis women, they have them take um, hormonal birth control in order to mimic kind of like the pregnancy levels of hormones. Meanwhile, for trans women, they typically just alter the hormone replacement, excuse me, for trans women, they usually just alter the hormone replacement therapy that they're already taking to raise the levels higher and then lower. Meanwhile, for the cis women, they'll be like, take hormonal birth control, then stop taking it. So it's very, very similar. And then there was this other um, self-hating turf that said womb transplants, transsexual lactation and breastfeeding. All of this shit is so dystopian. It makes women into a curated experience, a product ready to be purchased and consumed en masse. What if we just like liked women instead of like thinking that more women existing or female experiences existing is something dystopian. What if we could just like lift each other up and celebrate womanhood, celebrate motherhood, celebrate my baby being supplemented with more nutrients rather than like being a piece of shit and tearing each other down. There is so much yeah, joy true. to be had in motherhood, in breastfeeding, in in all of this. I am so happy to be able to feed my child to be like, you can see the trans joy on my face. You can see the little baby loving it. I also have this picture of me feeding my child. Just so beautiful. Like, this is a moment of beauty. This is a moment of joy. And the fact that they can't see it, they are missing out so, so hard. Okay, so there's the video. Yeah, I just thought it was like insanely ridiculous that everybody made like a big deal about this and they started coming up with these like crazy like theories of why this is dangerous or, you know, looking for an excuse to turn this into like her being some kind of groomer or sexual predator to a child or something like that. It's like, no, this is something that has been done for many, many years. This is something that has been thoroughly studied and tested and proven to be completely safe. There is nothing wrong with this. The way I look at this is the outrage that was caused by this is literally just another excuse to be a transphobic piece of shit to a trans person. It's just as simple as this. So shout out to Nominal Naomi. Thanks for sharing your experience with everyone. I highly recommend you guys check out her channel. She is a valuable resource, in my opinion, if you're trying to learn about trans issues. I've obviously done my own research on a lot of things to learn a lot of the things that I've learned up to this point, but I'm still learning, right? And so she has become a valuable resource for me because I've learned a lot of things that I wasn't already aware of through her. So again, big shout out to Nominal Naomi. Congratulations on motherhood and like fuck the haters and just do you. Obviously, your kid is in good care in your hands. So screw anyone who thinks and otherwise.